What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to wire and install an active pickup with a passive pickup. And the reason why you might wanna do that is, let's say you're um, a lead guitarist in your rock band and the majority of the time you're using the bridge pickup and not so much the, um, the neck pickup, which is um, a rhythm pickup. So my son, which is uh, the lead guitarist in his rock band, I'll leave a link in the video description below. They say, hey dad, can I just have the bridge pickup? So this active pickup is $120. This is the EMG 81 active pickup commonly used by lead guitarist. See the link in the video description below. And it's for uh, heavy metal music. So I was gonna go drop um, $120 for the bridge pickup and another $120 for the, um, the neck pickup if he's not going to use it so much. It's $240 plus tax. That's a lot of money. Just the guitar is $250. <laughs> so, and also, you have to use a 9 volt battery to um, power this uh, active pickup up. With the passive pickup, it doesn't take any batteries. So, I'd say one, they're in the middle of a gig, the battery dies. Well, he can still switch it by flicking up on the switch and switching it to now the passive pickup to continue playing on in the song. Um, I mean, the active pickup will still work with the battery dead, but it just drops big time. It, um, the volume drops and it sounds cruddy. It sounds worse than the passive pickup. Here's the battery back here. I didn't want to like drill any holes into the guitar. So we had no place to put the battery, but right here. So I, I just carved out a little spot right here. You can test the battery too without taking off this back plate. We just pop off this and then we could test the battery straight from uh, the guitar. And when he's playing his guitar, his leg, is, uh, his body is like right on this part. And this is not even touching his body. This doesn't affect his uh, playability at all. Okay, this is the wire diagram for two active pickups. This is the wire diagram for one EMG active pickup. Here are all the items that come with the EMG81 kit. It comes with the output jack and the lock nut, the washer, and the lock washer, the passive tone knob, the volume knob, the I.O. plug and play board, the jumper cables that connect to the I.O. board, to the volume, to the passive knob, the cable connections for the output jack, and the battery connections that obviously connect to the 9 volt battery, and the black wire connects to the output jack, and the red wire connects to the positive on the battery bus on the I.O. board right here. So here's the wires for the active pickup right here. Ran through that hole and I just ran some wire through and fished it through. It's pretty easy. It wasn't too bad. Um, just had to shove in like a hard wire. You could try, a, you know, maybe a hanger or something and then tape it to the hanger and just pull it right through. So you want to pull one out of a time you, you, you can't pull both at the same time because these connectors are going to get jammed up in the hole. Some people had to drill out the hole. So I did have, have to drill out this hole and that goes out to the output jack. Now this is the active pickup. This is the power, 9 volt power to the active pickup. And this is the actual sound, the tone, and it goes out. Now this is the passive pickup wires coming out of that hole right there. And I left that be. I didn't cut it or anything. So you want to make sure if you're going to use the passive pickup, you want to leave it on the toggle switch. So the ground, all the ground points go to that one tab, and the, the positive is the white wire, and that goes to that single tab right there. Other one right here is going to be connecting to the I.O. board, and this is the output right here. And that connects also to the I.O. board. And everything is labeled. That's the cool thing about this. And so I put right here Velcro tape right there and a Velcro tape right there to hold in the battery and to hold in the I.O. board. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so step one is let's connect the bridge wires from the toggle switch to the I.O. board. And it's actually labeled right here. So it says bridge, neck, output, ground. So all the ground points are right here on this black block. On the green block, we have the bridge wire, the neck, which we're not going to use because we're going to leave that as a passive pickup and that's going to be soldered to the toggle switch. And then the output, we're going to connect. 
All the red wires are gonna be connecting right here on this bus, it doesn't matter which pin. And then right here, as you can see, there's your bridge, there's your neck in, and there's your output. All right, so the white wire is gonna to connect to the single point right here, the single tab on the outside of the switch. And that is going to be the bridge. So let's go ahead and connect that. And so the white wire is gonna be connected right here under BR. And let's tighten that up. The output wires, and that white wire goes to O. It's labeled on the board O. And let's connect that one. And let's tighten that up. Yep. And then let's connect that ground right here. And it doesn't matter which one, it's all the same. This is all the same right here on this ground block. All right, and let's go ahead and connect the ground on this one. And these feel pretty secure. All right, so now the toggle switch is connected. Now let's go ahead and put it in its place. We're gonna have the Velcro on the battery. I'm gonna place that down afterwards. And that connects to that Velcro. Oh, we're not going to connect anything to the neck, so ignore that. So here's the bridge. So let's go ahead and connect that. So this is the bridge in, and B is for black wire, and then W is for the white wire. We're going to have the output go to the volume knob. This red wire right here is going to be connecting to that the battery bus. It doesn't matter which pin, it's all the same connection. So now the active Pickup has power once we connect the battery. So that's gonna be connected to the output right here. And so, oh, I got it backwards. Let's turn it this way. And then that's output. And as you can see right here, that's a black wire, that's a white wire, B and W for a white. So now we're gonna connect the volume knob right here. It says volume. And it says right here, ground, and then it says I-O, ground, I-O, ground, I-O. So when you connect this right here, you wanna connect it where the black wire is facing down and it says ground underneath that. So we're gonna connect it just like that. Black wire to ground and then the I-O on the board is gonna be the white. Passive tone and it says passive tone right here. And again, ground is on the bottom and that's gonna be a black wire, and then I.O. is the white wire, and then again, ground, I.O. I mean, the lock washer on. I'm using 11 millimeter socket to tighten it up. Turn them, so let's go ahead and turn them all down. And I'm gonna put these down. And I got some skulls on eBay. They're metal, they're pretty cool. I think it matches the Warlock pretty nice. Ground is black wire, IO is the white wire, and that's gonna face up. Slide that in. And that is going to the passive tone right here. So let's go ahead and connect that. Black wire toward the ground where it says ground on the board. Just like that, like that in. So now I'm gonna connect the passive tone. And the black is the ground. And the white is the IO. There we go. And the only thing we're left with is the battery connector I hope that goes right here on the battery bus right here and and then we have to run this last one there we go tuck it in over here push it in the hole if you have to and you want to connect the battery last so you don't short anything out so the battery connector that you see right here black wire on the battery connector that is going to be connected right here 
right next to that big prong. Now you wonder, you say, hey, how about the ground wire? Well, according to EMG, you could cut the ground wire, they said. So the active pickup doesn't need the ground wire. And the passive still works without that. This connector that's going from the passive, the black wire that is going to the next tab, the connection right there. And then the white wire right here, that you can barely see, but it's, it's definitely a white wire. See? And that goes to the next one, just like that. And so let's go ahead and uh, test it. So we're going to test the uh, cables. I'm going to put my positive lead here and my negative lead on the tall prong. And that's a good connection on the positive prong. And then touch the tip of the connector. And then we got a good connection right there as well. And on the ground prong, we don't have a connection. That tone that you hear, that means I have a solid connection. And that's good. I don't have a, um, a tone on the ground prong. So we touch the negative. The black wire is the ground. And the ground prong is the short prong. So the short prong is the ground negative prong. And that is a good connection there. And it is the same connection as the base of the connector right here. Or you could touch actually the, um, the bottom part of the connector. That's the same connection. And these two wires should have a good uh, connection too. Yep, and it does to the short prong. So now that you know how to wire that, let's go ahead and put that back. Just like that. And you want to make sure you have perfect tension on these two prongs because if you don't have perfect tension, then your sound's going to cut in and out. So make sure you don't mess with these two prongs or bend them or any which way. The ground is the black wire. And let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, so let's go ahead and push this in. Push this on. And tighten it up. And let's go ahead and test it. So we're gonna plug it up, that, just like that. Double check your work. Carved that out a little hole so I can fit the battery in. And it's not going anywhere, it's Velcroed in. Go ahead and connect it to, uh, switch it to the neck pickup, which is the passive pickup. Go ahead. All right, now switch it, to the, switch it to the EMG active pickup, which is the bridge pickup. All right, now switch it to the middle, which is both. All right, now unplug the battery and show um, what it sounds like without it. Right now. That's full volume. Switch it to the active pickup. It is on the active pickup. All right, play a little bit. All right, now switch it to the passive. All right. Yeah. All right, switch it now. Now play. Yeah, on the active pickup. You get a lot more output. How do you like it? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's worth $120? Definitely better than the BC Rich pickup. Bridge pickup, sure. Yeah. Um. I think it sounds better than yeah. uh, passive BC Rich pickups. I like the tone of it. It is personal preference, my style. It sounds better with this tone. It could be your own personal preference or your style, the way you play. It varies your opinions on this um, pickup, but I love it. I just love it. All right, cool. All right, check out his uh, channel. He has two channels. He's in two bands, Roblox and Beyond Chaotic. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to anyone who it may help.